उसके उसके From Fort William, we went on to Oban and I've just come out of Oban now. We visited the Oban distillery, which is where they make whiskey on Oban. It is a lovely day. It's a very old distillery. In fact, it was one of the first buildings in the town. Around the sides, so there's buildings in front of the distillery now. But if you go around the side, you can see the hooks on the walls where they used to tie the boats where it was on the shore. It's not on the shore anymore by the way, they built a harbour. The guide for the distillery tour open was great. There was loads and loads of details. One other point to make about Ben Nevis was they had an experiment with their washbacks. They brought four aluminum or aluminium washbacks and two wooden ones, Oregon pine from America. And they were running them at the same time to see if they'd, they'd be ma make any difference in the flavour of the, wills, or the whiskey. And the result, there was no difference. So you can have wooden washbacks or you can have metal washbacks. It all tastes the same. So my purchase at Oban, it has to be something that I really didn't want to find. But they were selling it so I had to buy it. 65 quid in the pan of this, which is a cast strength open. Only available at the distillery, so there goes my back balance. But hey, that's the shit you want. Cast strength, obviously, limited edition. 55.2%. You're digging at shit. Another interesting and unique fact about Oban. Yeah, he took this into the warehouse and let us have a taste directly from the barrel. Yeah, he's got one of these big metallic uh, plunger things he put through the hoop, extracted some into a wee glass jug, poured this wee glass. We've also got a free glass as well, that's nice. Right, so I think that's enough farting about here. Let's bugger off to Glenfinnan.
Ich gehe mal. <lacht>